Dave here from PowerInverters.com. Today we'll be discussing a little further inverter chargers, different applications that they can be used for, exactly how they work, and what exactly it means to be an inverter with a built-in battery charger. Now the first thing we'll talk about is the actual unit itself. These units come included with built-in battery charger. A lot of people think that that'll mean that the battery will stay charged continuously while you're using the inverter and basically cycle the battery energy over and over again. That's not how this works exactly. Basically the way this works is you connect it to utility power and when utility power is available the batteries will be charged up until a full charge and then go into a float mode and when power is lost it'll switch over automatically to the battery power. You'll always want to connect your electronics to the front of the inverter because the only output that you'll be getting from the system is the output of the outlets. So basically even though you're using utility power when it's available you still plug in your device such as a sub pump or something that you want to have continuous power perhaps it's a fish tank filter something like that what you'll do is you'll plug it directly into the inverter you leave it on all the time and when utility power is available you'll actually be running off of the utility power even though it's going through the inverter as soon as the power is lost it'll switch over to battery power and then back to utility power when the power kicks back on this is an ideal setup for a submergible pump if you don't want to encounter any types of floods or stuff like that. Basically the way you'll have it plugged in is the submergible pump will get plugged into the inverter and it'll be running off utility at all times. What you'll want to make sure is that you'll have enough battery power though in reserve based on the amount of times you lose power or the length of time that you lose power. I always suggest doing a simulated blackout to understand exactly how much power you have, if the power would go out, how long it'll last before you'll be dead on batteries. For example, if you only have a reserve of 20 minutes or several drains of the well, it might not be enough because usually when the power goes out, it's going to be in a storm. So it could be in a rainstorm where your pump will be draining constantly. So you want to make sure that you have enough reserve power so that you don't flood the basement. Now, as far as using the inverter portion of the inverter charger, it's the exact same thing as a regular modified sine wave power inverter, just has the built-in charger. So if you want to use it just directly off a battery bank and just use it as a standard inverter, it'll work the exact same way as that. A very common question we'll get with these inverter chargers is can they be hardwired into the main breaker of the house? They can be wired into the main breaker of the house, for example the 5 and 6,000 watt units do need to be wired into two separate breakers so that the 50 amp charger can work but it still won't power those breakers. For example, people think that they connect the batteries, they wire it to two breakers, and then those two breakers outlets within the house are being powered by the batteries. It doesn't work exactly like that. You connect the breakers to the, in, uh, the inverter's charger. The charger now is gonna be working when there is power available, same as the 2000 and 3000 that are just direct plug-ins. But the output of the inverter is the only place that you'll actually get output from the batteries. So if you do want to do a hard wiring system, it's the same as the 2000, 3000, any size wattage that we have. You're going to want to hardwire the actual output, the outlets of the inverter into the breaker. And that's the only way that if you can want to do a hard wire, that it'll work with the actual outlets of the house. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any further questions about inverter chargers or just DC to AC power inverters in general, feel free to send us an email at info at powerinverters.com. We'll be happy to post a response. Um, if you found this video helpful, please share or like it at the uh, links below. Thanks and have a great day.